Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Gina of Gina Renee RM Budgets. I am a zero-based budgeter who utilizes the cash as well as the cashless envelope system to assist me along my journey to financial and debt freedom. If you're new here, I do videos about budgeting, cash stuffing, grocery hauls, a little bit of couponing when I have time, etc. So if that type of content interests you, then please take a moment right now, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. If you are a returning subscriber, if you are a subscriber of one of my many, many budgeting friends and angels, definitely, definitely, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me today. As many of you may know, my family is going through a pretty difficult time. Uh, that being said, I'm blessed. Definitely, definitely blessed. I have an amazing support system. I have amazing friends and family. And I just thank God that we're not on this journey alone. My husband has been diagnosed with bladder cancer. And basically, kind of the future of a lot of things are kind of up in the air. There's been many medical procedures that due to the deductible for my husband's insurance hadn't been met yet. We have been paying out of pocket for pretty much everything until that deductible is met. My husband is not working and for right now he's in the waiting period before his short-term disability may or may not kick in. Of course, you guys probably know it's up to the insurance companies and sometimes they can be pretty inconsiderate in terms of if they think you can go to work or not. So if he will ever get paid while he's off, that's not anything for sure as of right now. And then probably, I think it was the day before my husband's surgery, our landlord called to let us know that she was putting our house up for sale. So now, on top of everything else, we have to move. So it's a lot to take in all at once. It's a lot to be financially prepared for all at once. So I just, I said I wasn't gonna get all emotional on this video because I really want to do a face-to-face a -face video but I just appreciate like literally I'm blown away by the support and the love the kindness the generosity of basically complete strangers as well as family and friends I just know that it's nothing but God that has put me in this position. It's nothing but God that has connected me with so many wonderfully amazing friends. It's just it's so many of you to sit here and try to think of all the names and you know, thank each of you one by one, even though I'm I'm working on it. <laughs> but just to name a few, of course, our family, my mom and dad, like, I don't know, like, where I would be without them. Not even just this situation, but just my whole life. Okay, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna keep it together for this one. And just, you know, our families, my best friend, just everybody who has rallied around us, my children, just, I can't even begin. And this community, this community has just, 
Whew, guys, I can't even put it into words, but just like Alicia from Hands and Bands, D, D versus Debt, <laughs> Kathy's Cash and Coin, Donna. Oh my God, like I cannot, I really cannot name everybody. But these are the people that have went above and beyond to mention what's going on about me in their videos to put my links in their description boxes like literally i'm seeing donations come in and i haven't a clue who these people are but their heart was open enough and kind enough to leave a donation just based off these people vouching for my character and the type of person that I am and the things that I'm going through. So for that, I cannot thank you enough. I cannot thank you enough. So let me get to this cash stuffing because I don't want it to be too, too long. But as you can see, today I'm going to be stuffing my uh, weekly spending money, which I put aside in to my week two envelope last week when I get paid because I only get paid every two weeks. So therefore, normally my husband gets paid every week. So because he get pay, gets paid every week, I would always take my weekly spending money out of the money that he contributed toward our household. But now this week, I think it was the first or the second week, I can't even remember you guys, that he didn't get a paycheck at all. So I went on ahead and took the two weeks of the spending money out of my paycheck. So this is the money that I'll link in the iCards, the video that shows where I added this money to a week two envelope. I was proactive and did that because I already knew that things were changing and paychecks weren't gonna be coming in and things of that nature. Now. I haven't stuffed these envelopes. This is the money that I'm supposed to be stuffing. But as you guys can see, these envelopes are pretty full. And reason being, <laughs> other than the fact that I'm just afraid <laughs> to spend money because our future is so uncertain, but I also feel like I can't in good faith accept donations and not do my part as well in terms of saving money in addition to the donations that have come in. So therefore, for food and home, we decided to strictly cook and stuff out of our pantry. For spending, I just made myself leave it alone. For gas, I did put gas in the car, you guys know. I used to always brag about my husband put gas in the car all the time, <laughs> but guess what? He's not working. He's sick. He can't do it. So I will. <laughs> and then unbudgeted, I don't think I, I touched that at all. So I know this is what I stuffed last time. 150.60. Spending, this is what I stuffed last time. I'm sh pretty sure. 45. Gas, I stuffed 60 and I have 20 left still because we just put gas in the car. Um, unbudgeted, still the same. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. My giving envelope, I don't unstuff it, but I had 10 in here. I gave five away. One, two, three. Oh, four. Oh, okay, four. Maybe I gave six away, but I still have that left as well. So, I think I'm just going to add all this to the medical fund. Just so I can do my part as well. So, let's see what we got. And um, last week I stuffed date night and car maintenance, but I'm gonna do that a little bit different now because you guys will see. So 150, 70, 90, 210, 220, 225, 230, 
231, 232, 233, 234, $235 that I saved from my weekly spending. And I'm gonna put that into the bank. And I have a bank envelope here, which has the 40 I spent in gas, which needs to be deposited. So food and home, we're gonna do uh, 160. Mm -hmm. 160, 120, 40, 60. Um, I hope you guys are okay. Um, I'm just scatterbrained still. Even my last video, <laughs> I was all discombobulated and <laughs> didn't know what was what. Before I do this one, I'm, I don't have an envelope but I want to make sure because my husband is not getting paid, that doesn't mean that he doesn't need things or doesn't need to have spending money. So I kind of asked him, uh, we haven't even really been going out, but I just kind of asked him like about how much do you think you would need, you know, just to have some money in your pocket till everything kind of gets straightened out. And so he came up with $30. So I'm going to put this to the side and just give it to him because <laughs> he ain't, He's not using the envelope. <laughs> All right, so spending. I hope I didn't mess up my denominations. I'm gonna do 40 into spending. Let's see, so far so good. Then I am going to put these here. 50 into gas. This was $300, by the way. I forgot to count it. <laughs> Sorry. 50 for gas. And then unbudgeted will get... ten. No, 15. 5, 10. 15 into unbudgeted. And I'll add to my giving. I don't know why I thought this was $5. I must have gave somebody else some more money. One, two, three, ooh, four, five. Pretty money, but that's all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars into my giving envelope, which I don't care how bad things get, I'll find a way to give because you know, I almost feel more convicted to give when I'm struggling and people are giving to me. That's just how I've always been. That's how I'll always be. So that's all of our envelopes. I'm going to try my best not to really spend this either, unless I absolutely have to. Well, thank you guys again. I can't say thank you enough. Oh, I want to show you what Hands and Bands made for me. So you guys know about the challenge that she made. So what I did was I started using this and she made me a black and white one. But I started using this to put the donations that we've gotten so far um, into the medical fund. So her original amounts, I was like, well, I don't wanna keep going through these like so many at a time. So I had her add zeros to the amounts and this is where we are so far i'm on to number two i'm on to number two guys i'll say that again i'm on to number two like i can't thank you guys enough like i can't it's a lot that we have to do in a short amount of time you know we weren't planning to move even to illinois this soon and then i want to show you guys that i am keeping track of the donations that come in and then i will as we need to use the money i will also make notations of what it's being used for here just because we pride ourselves on being good stewards of what we're given and um and i definitely feel as if what we're getting from you guys is definitely from god through god because of god and so that being said, I plan to utilize the money responsibly and for what it was intended to be used for. Now, I know sometimes some a lot of the donations come in and they 
tell me it's for a specific thing. Like I have, maybe somebody will send it and say, hey, use this for self-care. As you guys can see, my self-care envelope. It's not here anymore, and I just feel like he's more important. Not that I'm not important, but at this moment, I just rather focus all my energy. And yes, guys, I know I have to take care of myself, and I plan to do that. But in this situation, I just feel like there's a lot of things that I can do for myself here at home, just for now. And as things come, and you know, I'll try my best to use the money that people have intended for self-care and make use of that as they request it. So my plan is I'm still going to do a video and showing you guys all of the self-care products that I use at home to take care of myself at home that are reasonable. I just do them myself to save money. So I'm going to share that with you guys. And once you guys see all of the stuff... <laughs> that I'll use, that I do use regularly, you'll know that I do take very good care of myself. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for all your prayers, more so than anything, but for your love, for your support, your generosity, like there's no words to describe it. And I just thank you. I thank all my good buddies. I wish I could tag the whole community, <laughs> but you know, Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really can't even explain it in words, but just stay, stay tuned. I'll keep you guys posted on exactly what's going on. And I have to say, I look forward to the day that I can record our my husband's testimony of what God did to him and through him. So stay tuned, subscribe so you don't miss the praise report. Because it's coming. I claim that in the name of Jesus, the praise report is coming. And as always, I wish you peace, love, and prosperity. God bless, guys. Love you.